He is the underdog, but still believes the Iowa caucus could make him top dog. Martin O'Malley hopes to win over voters one at a time in small groups, like the Democrats' appearance today in Council Bluffs. KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts is here with O'Malley's Uphill Battle. The former Maryland governor is definitely the long shot candidate. The latest national CNN poll shows Hillary Clinton with a strong lead of 50%. Her nearest competitor, Senator Bernie Sanders, who has 34% of likely voters on his side, many of them younger who identify as millennials. And then there's Martin O'Malley, still lagging behind with 3%, but he's convinced that the polls are wrong. The critics don't take your campaign seriously, should they? I believe that they should. History is full of all sorts of examples of campaigns that were written off by the big money or the national pundits that emerged on caucus night. And the people of Iowa always have a way of upsetting the apple cart on caucus night. And I believe that's what they're going to do. How's it going, gang? O'Malley quotes a Gravis marketing poll that shows him at 10% in Iowa. Still, his campaign needs to heat up and heat up fast. He hopes the spark comes from small group events like his Sunday appearance in Council Bluffs. It follows bad news. Last Thursday, the Ohio Secretary of State's office said O'Malley did not get enough valid signatures to appear on the Ohio primary ballot. How does that weigh on the campaign, and what's your strategy moving forward after that happened? Yeah, we were disappointed with that. We uh, tried to go with an all volunteer approach there to get the signatures required, and we fell short. But we've gotten on the ballot in every other state. And fortunately, uh, the uh, states that are actually going to shift the dynamic are the early states like Iowa and New Hampshire. The current dynamic shows Hillary Clinton polling higher with senior citizens who find comfort in an established candidate, while younger voters, many in college, are moving into the Bernie Sanders camp, who's pushing for free public college. Who's going to gravitate towards you and why? I think there's going to be people from every age spectrum that gravitate to my campaign. And already that's what we're seeing here in Iowa. There's rarely ever been a time where the result on caucus night looked like what the polls said in November. The truth will come out in 29 days when Iowa voters caucus. If O'Malley wants to make a strong final push, he might need more money. He raised $1.3 million during the third quarter. But for reference, Clinton raised $30 million during the same time period. Back to you, Brandy. Dave, thank you. And